Morning folks, it is Sunday the 1st of September and I'm back at Southampton and it is Lego release day. So I'm gonna pop in the Lego store, check out what they've got. They've got some, not a massive amount of sets, but they've got quite a bit. Um, they've got the uh, burrow, the advent calendars, a few Christmas sets and a few gift with purchases. So we'll head in there, have a little look around, see what's new, maybe pick some up and uh, have a fun Lego kind of day. See you in there. So the actual shopping center is open because I've got eateries in there, but none of the stores are actually opening till 11. It's now quarter two, but there is a queue for Lego already, as you can see, which is mad. Lego release day, September 1st. So I just got in the queue and I thought that was the queue. And actually this is the queue, which is crazy. There's only about 10, 11 sets out today. Not a many, but yeah, this is madness. Now I see Ian from Ian's Bricks is already in there filming away. So the queue has gone down a bit and we are heading in. There's the big sign itself. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you. So we are going in and we have got the gifts with purchase that you can get and you're getting double XP points on Harry Potter purchases as well. I think there's three gift with purchases. You've got the clock and you have got the Borgin and Burke Flu Network and Draco's Forbidden Forest. Spend £35 to get Draco, 120 to get the Bergen and Bork, or Borgin and Bork, Burke even. And then also Weasley's Clock Collectible, you've got to buy the burrow to get that. And there's the gift with purchases built there, a couple of them. That is the Draco in the Forbidden Forest, that's a poly bag. And then that is the Borgin and Burke's Flu Network, and that comes in a in a box. And this is when you spend 120 or more on Harry Potter, and this is when you spend 35 pound or more. I'm not buying any Harry Potter today, so that's me out. And there is the burrow built. Early access today for insiders, everyone else on the third, but that is pretty smart. Not too bad. 200 plus pound, I can't remember the price. But yeah, pretty impressive. Right, here's the Christmas sets. And we have got the candle, which is 40 pounds. They haven't got it built, unfortunately. They've got the Nutcracker for 10.99. That's not too bad, I might have to pick that up. They got the Christmas ornaments, or gingerbread ornaments. So they are 10.99. There's an nutcracker. Yeah, I might have to get that. You can build it two ways with sort of eyes open or eyes closed there. And we've got some of the Christmas sets on display. That's the Alpine Lodge there, 90 quid. And then there's the Christmas tree as well. Not sure the Christmas tree is worth 40, but there you go. And we've got the Christmas ornaments. They're not too bad. Can't see a price on those. They're free. No price, they're free. And there's a Christmas tree there. And it's a big box. Obviously, I think, what, do you get two? I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you get two. And then we've got some of the advent calendars. There's the Star Wars one. That is £30. And you've got the um, Luke and Leia there with the Sokotano. It's really smart, that. I might actually pick that one up at some point. And we've got the Lego Friends. That is a little bit cheaper, I believe. I think that's 19.99. And we've got the Marvel one. And then we've got the Lego City one down there. That's 19.99. And then finally, there's more Star Wars ones there. Finally, we've got the Disney Princess one. Pretty good. And there is the Zelda set, the Great Deku Tree, two in one. You can build this two different ways. And it is, a big set actually, it's bigger than I thought it'd be. A lot of people are sort of criticizing the price of it. It's 260 pound, but it is quite big. I don't think the um, screen is gonna do it justice. Probably need to see it for yourself. Very detailed. And then there's the box up there. And they've also got the Halloween barn as well, which is one of the new releases. Got the jaw set built. That looks smart as a display like that. Does look cool. Yeah, really smart. 
I've still yet to finish this. I've built the boat, but I haven't built the shark roofs or the base plate. But yeah, looks good. They got the Baradar set in, 400 quid. What a bargain. Bumblebee, 80. Oh, that's one I do want to pick up at some point, the telephone box. I think that looks smart. We got the uh, museum, 259. There's another built version of Jaws. Got the Lambo there, 160. And then Notre Dame, that looks amazing. I do like that. That is a nice looking set. So I think I will be buying that at some point. 160 in a few places at the moment. And there's the McLaren P1. I saw that built in Disneyland Paris Lego store and it is a really nice looking build. 390 quid. Dungeons and Dragon minifigs got released today and they are proving pretty popular. The bin is almost empty. Loads of people with their brick scanner They're trying to find out what's what. So there is also a Harry Potter make and take today. So they're just setting up for that. They let everyone in for the launch at 11, but the make and take is an hour later, I believe. Otherwise it will just be carnage in here. I mean, the queue is still massive out the front, but yep, I'm in here and I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Ditch your crap, people. I did think that they were releasing the Nightmare Before Christmas today, but apparently it's the third. Not that I was picking it up, but it would have been nice to see it built. But there we go. But the Bill Drone Mini Figs, three for seven. It's quite a nice display, this as well. It goes round. Got a couple of little areas where the kiddies can play. And then we've got the old pirate there, look. Got a load of key rings, and they've actually made a little display out of bricks that says key rings. That's quite smart. And there is a ton. $4.99 each for key rings. Some of the brickets they got, they got Stitch and Maribel, Madrigal from Encanto, and also Wally and Eve. And also, up, you don't see many of these on the shelf. Oh, I might have to get one of those. I've got one already, but worth having another one. I think I'll get a um, Maribel. But I think that is gonna do it. A lot of people in the store now doing the Harry Potter make and take. Um, I'm only gonna pick up this, which is the Maribel Encanto. So, nothing jumping out at me, maybe next time. I'm not gonna spend 260 on Zelda at the minute, but we'll see, maybe next time. So, all done at the Lego store and a whopping 10 pound spent on a Brickheads. <laughs> can you believe that? I'm not sure I can drop 260 on the Zelda set just yet. It is a very nice set, but I think Mrs. Brick Bargains might have something to say about that. The Burrow, the new Burrow Harry Potter, that is a nice looking set and it was flying off the shelves. Some great gifts with purchases on that one, You're getting three. Um, can't see that staying around for much longer. And then, the, sadly, the Nightmare Before Christmas set is not out until the third, and it wasn't on display, so that was a bit of a shame. But the Christmas set's out, and the advent calendars, they all look nice. But yeah, it was really good there, really busy. The queue was massive, as you saw. And also bumped into Ian from Ian's Bricks, so shout out to Ian, and I'll put a link to his channel below so you can check out his channel. And I just want to say, Massive shout out to the store staff. Yes, you lot there, especially Sarah. Always making me feel very welcome and nothing is a problem with filming. So yeah, great stuff. Just want to say one thing. I will be going to the Bournemouth Brick Festival next weekend to check that out. There's always some really good sellers there. A lot of retired stuff. You can pick up some bargains. So I'll do a video from there and um, yeah, hopefully you can enjoy that one. But it's worth going to. I think there's some tickets still left here if you're around the area, want to go and check it out. But that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and ding that notification bell for even more of these lovely little videos. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.